Hello. If you're using WordPress and the Genesis framework, then you've got a white screen like this when you try to log into your dashboard. Keep watching. If you haven't updated your site recently, make sure you update Genesis first. Update Genesis before you update WordPress. Before we start, I want to make it very clear, I offer no guarantee. So, please note, this is a record of my own personal experience dealing with a Genesis Admin Custom Post Type Archive Settings problem. If you have time and money invested in your site, log into your StudioPress account and ask for their advice. The solution that worked for me might or might not work for you. I offer no guarantee. It should work though. <laughs> the basic problem. The version of WordPress running on your site was updated to 4.6 before you updated Genesis to version 2.3.1. As far as I know, this only affects sites that use custom post types. Author Pro plugin and many other plugins use custom post types. How do you know if you have this problem? When you try to use the WordPress dashboard, you see a white screen and an error message that looks something like this. It's a catchable fatal error and it's about the uh, custom post type archive settings. How do you fix the problem? You've got to navigate to Functions PHP in the Genesis framework. You're probably using maybe a StudioPress theme or some other uh, what's called a child theme. Now, we're dealing with the Genesis framework here. We're not dealing with the individual theme that you're using. We're dealing with the Genesis framework. So, navigate to Functions PHP in the Genesis framework. Put some extra code at the bottom of Functions PHP and save. Your dashboard should now work again. Make sure you update Genesis and your problem will be solved. Well, that sounds easy, but how do you do it? First of all, you'll need to log into your cPanel or if you use FTP, you'll probably know what you're doing. Um, but a lot of people use a cPanel. Once you've logged in, you want to go to the File Manager. Just so search down here for Files and then File Manager. Now, if you've got several different websites in your web space, you'll have to choose the website you want to deal with from a drop down list. Now, you'll see something like this, which is a list of the files and folders inside that particular piece of web space. Now we've got to navigate to to find the Genesis framework. So you'll see WP admin, WP content, WP includes, and what we want is WP content, then you want to look inside themes, Genesis, and what we want is functions PHP. And then we're going to edit that file. Now I'm doing this on a, a thing called a local host because I don't want to open up my cPanel to the whole world. Um, but the only real difference is we're going to open this file, functions PHP, and I'm going to do it with a text editor. But I'll show you how you would do it on your site. Let's put that there and then I'll go and show you how you would do it. Now when you've navigated to where your functions PHP file is, you want to highlight the file, don't, don't double click it or it will download, you want to highlight it just so it's blue like that and then choose the code editor on this top row, choose the code editor button and you can edit the file. Now we're going to paste some code at the bottom here but we need to get the code before we can paste it. Now the code we need has been provided by Sal Ferrarello and he's a contributor to the Genesis framework so he knows what he's doing and if we just I'll, I'll put a link to this page underneath the video so look underneath the video for a link to this page and if we scroll down there's the code we need so we're going to copy this code and we're going to paste it at the bottom of our functions PHP file so make sure you're below all the text that's there already and then just paste the code in. Make sure that you, you save this file. So let's go back to our website and see if it's worked. This is what we had before, this error message. We could see the, the, the pages of the site, we could navigate around the site, the site was working, but it wasn't, um, the, the dashboard wasn't working. So this is what we had before. 
let's refresh the page and see if it's working now and we're back in business but make sure as soon as you've uh, done that make sure you update Genesis you need to update Genesis to 2.3.1 or whatever is uh, is available when you watch this video I'm going to update Genesis and the problem is fixed click to complete the upgrade and a really quick recap if you haven't experienced this problem make sure you update Genesis before you update WordPress and the way we fixed the problem we navigated to functions PHP in the Genesis framework it's actually in the Genesis framework it's not in a studio press theme or any other Genesis child theme this is in the Genesis framework and we just pasted that little bit of code that we got from the website I showed you and I'm going to put a link to the website below this page and one last word if you've got any time and money invested in your website consult studio press before you do this and make sure that there's no problems I offer no guarantees thanks for watching best of luck and bye for now